Today, I am going to deliver lecture real answer lecture 13 on problems of limit theorems. That means, so I want to find limits of some problems by using limit theorems. Okay. That means algebra of some theorems, right? By Dr. P. Ramblu, Head Department of Mathematics, MBS Government, Tarts and Science College, Atanamas Mahunagar. So, problem. Determine the limits of the following sequences and then prove that your claims. Determine the limit of the following claims. Okay, prove that your claims. So by using limit theorem, so I want to write this uh, a n equal to n by n square plus one. B n equal to seven n minus nineteen by three n plus seven. C C n equal to four n plus three by seven n minus five. D D n equal to two n plus four by five n plus two. E S n equal to one by n sin n. I want to determine the limits of this sequence. A determine the limits of the given sequence. That is practical problem, that's why I'm writing here AM and two of the games. Principles so sequence, limit of sequence, or converse of sequence, bounded sequence, lim s n plus t n equal to s plus t, lim s n equal to zero and t n is bounded, then lim s n t n equal to zero, lim s n t n equal to s t lim s n by t n equal to s. This is algebra of theorems. Right? Method. Lim a n equal to lim of 1 by n square plus 1 that equal to lim of 1 by 1 n plus 1 by n that equal to lim 1 lim of n plus 1 by n that equal to 0. Right? Here lim a n equal to 0. So let epsilon equal to 0 a n equal to l equal to 0 then I want to consider uh, a n minus l that by n by n square plus 1 minus 0. So already we know that this is so uh, n by n square plus 1 is less than n, n square is less than n. This is less than epsilon. So let 1 by n is less than epsilon for n greater than epsilon. You can take that m is equal to integral part of 1 by epsilon for all epsilon is 0. There exists m is integral part of 1 by epsilon below z plus such that mod a n minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n greater equal to n. So this thing I want to prove my claim. Yeah. Uh, so it is easy. Now I am going to prove that. Okay, I will explain clearly. But he has given here a n is equal to n by n square plus 1. I want to find this limit of the sequence. I want to prove that our claim also, right? So, first one, a n is equal to n by n square plus 1, right? Here, he has given that a n is equal to what he has given n by n square plus 1. I want to determine limit of the sequence and to prove our claims, right? What is a n? a n equal to n by n square plus 1, right? Now, I want to apply algebra of theorem. So, for that, uh, here, lim of uh, a n that equal to Lim of a nothing but n by n square plus one. n by n square plus lim a n equal to lim of n by n square plus one. Right. So that equal to what happen here? n by n square plus one. Now apply algebra theorem. I know that lim of a n by or s n by t n equal to we know that uh, lim of n by uh, here oh, I'm, I'm do what what I do here. I want to multiply divide by n square. Multiply and divide by n square. Both I'm dividing this uh, one by Either way, you can take that n common out here, simply n common out here. Then what happen here? n plus 1 by n. Okay. So if I take m here, n by 1 plus n by 1, n gets now. 
no applying limit that equal to what happened here lim1 by n plus 1 by n lim1 lim n plus 1 by n right lim1 equal to 1 limit of 1 is equal to 1 here it can be written as uh, lim sn plus tn it is the form of lim of sn plus tn that equal to how, to, how can i write here limit of uh, n plus uh, limit of uh, 1 by n lim n equal to here So lim n equal to what when 1 by lim n equal to what we have in here infinite n tends to infinity infinite plus so here 1 by infinite that equal to what I am doing here this is 1 by infinite plus 0 1 by 0 that equal to what happened here 1 by infinite 1 by infinite 1 by infinity but 0 1 by infinity but 0 which implies what happened here which implies limit of uh, a n equal to 0 right in my point 0 so I determine the limit of this frequency is 0 that means limit of the given sequence is what is uh, an lim of uh, n by a nothing but n by n square plus 1 that equal to 0 so this is uh, i prove that this is i prove right uh, so i determine the limit of this curve now i want to prove our claim that means i am taking this lim of a and uh, lim of a equal i am taking this i want to show this is equal to zero by using our definition by using our definition so for that i am taking that uh, let i am taking a limit of uh, i am taking the limit of uh, n by So n square plus 1 equal to 0. This is a n. So this is a n. This is del. So it is in the form of uh, lima p n equal to del. Right? I want to this. I want to prove this. Right? So I am taking that uh, here uh, l is equal to 0. an is equal to n by n square plus 1. Now I am taking that letter epsilon is positive. Okay. I am taking this value. Consider, so I am going to that uh, consider mod a n minus l so which is less than epsilon i want to construct from this i want to find uh, m in terms of epsilon that means i want for this is that means for every epsilon region there exists to m belong to such that mod this minus 0 is less than epsilon that's why i am considering mod a n minus i am considering okay what is a n a n nothing but n by n square plus 1 minus 0 this is lim of a n minus l so that equal to lim of uh, n by n square plus 1 nothing but so that equal to what happened here 
n by n square plus 1. Modulus of this only. n by n square plus 1 nothing but this is natural number that equal to n by n square plus 1 n by n square plus 1 right why because these are natural number if i put for the modulus for natural number is nothing will happen that's why n by n square plus 1 will get n by n square plus 1 nothing but n by n square plus 1 so what i'm doing now i'm writing this is uh, i know that uh, i know here of uh, n square equal to n square right n square plus 1 is uh, greater than so n square plus 1 is greater than n square 1 by One by n square plus one equal to what happen here? One by n square. This thing I know, right? So I know this, right? Here I am writing here. This is less than. Numerator cannot be changed. N. One by n square plus one nothing but n square. One by n square plus one nothing but is less than one by n square. That equal to What happen here? 1 by n. This is less than epsilon. This is less than epsilon. Which implies what happen here? 1 by n is less than epsilon. Which implies n is greater than 1 by epsilon. n is greater than 1 by epsilon. So this is m. This is equal to approximately m. That you, I'm taking here m is equal to integral part Inter m is equal to integral part of uh, 1 by epsilon. Or you may take here you may take here integral part of instead of this so you take that box of 1 by epsilon why i am writing already i explained last lectures so m is equal to 1 by epsilon which implies by definition is that uh, which implies which implies for every epsilon greater than 0, which implies, for every epsilon and 0, there exist two. There exist two. M belongs to Z plus such that here this is M. There exist m and z plus. Here m nothing but uh, can take that. Uh, okay. M is equal to integral part of one by epsilon or that box of one by epsilon. Belonging to z plus. This belongs to z plus such that. mod of uh, n by n square plus 1 minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n equal to 
which implies which nothing but what can I be a uh, limit of uh, n by n square plus 1 equal to 0 that means I have proved my claim so this is the way we want to find the solution of the given sequence by using limit theorem okay so now i want to solve some problems right so this is i'll not explain okay now i'm taking other problem 7n minus 19 by 3n plus 7 bn is equal to 7n minus 19 plus uh, 3n plus 7 right here i'm taking this so 7n minus 19 okay the problem is so bn Seven n plus ninety by three n minus seven of four. Which I will see once again. Seven n minus nineteen, three n plus seven. Three n plus so seven. I think this is seven. Mm. So this is bn same problem i want to say uh, same by using last method i want to solve that it means uh, we have to determine the limit of the first sequence so now we have to prove our claims now we have to prove our claims right he, here i'm taking that or oh, bn equal to this right bn equal to this limit of uh, apply limit here limb of bn B n nothing but 7n minus 19 3n plus 7 so I am taking common on both sides uh, n uh, I know n and denominator uh, also n that equal to what happened here so limit uh, 7 minus uh, 7 minus 19 by n here 3 plus 7 by n. Three plus seven by n. Seven minus nineteen by seven. Sorry, n nineteen by n. Right, uh, and three right. It is in the form limb of n by b n. That equal to what I am writing here. Limb of seven minus nineteen by n here I'm writing lim of uh, 3 plus uh, 3 so this is 7 by 19 minus n limit of 3 plus 7 by n so that equal to you can return as this is so uh, lim of 7 plus equal to no, lim 7 minus uh, 19 by n so that you have lim 3 plus uh, 
Lim. Um, I think this is uh, seven by n. Lim seven equal to seven minus zero. Why? Because nineteen by three equal zero. Yeah, three plus seven that equal to zero. Right? Seven by lim of seven by one by n equal to zero. The value is uh, seven by three. That equal to the value is seven by three. So which implies so. Uh, Lim of this of seven three n seven n minus sorry seven n minus nineteen by three n plus seven. That equal to seven by three. This is we have determined my limit. Now I want to prove my claim. That means I want to show this equal to this by using definition, right? If you enter time for questions, we can easily solve this one step answer only. Simply what you do is you can come out again both say uh, numerator and denominator and multiply by the uh, coefficient of, and only we will get answer. Simply again by enter time, it is there is no power of this is. Uh, Equal then seven n by three n equal there the limit is seven by three it is quickly by uh, without uh, of calculating anything in entire step right in practical problem he asked me to find the limit of the sequence that's why here I am trying to find so which equal to now I want to take that uh, so I consider here s n equal to this so this is my s n. This is my L. That equal to L. This is S N. Right. So I am considering now. I am consider mod seven n minus nineteen by. Three n plus seven minus seven by three minus seven by three, which is less than epsilon. I will use later. I am here also considering that. Let epsilon is some positive value. I am taking it. Considering let epsilon greater than zero, right? So this is less than epsilon. Okay, later I will use right. So what you do now here? I am take LCM modulus of this. Yeah, three into three n plus seven. If I multiply this is what happens? Three into seven twenty one n. Three into nine is fifty-seven. Nine is three equal to fifty-seven. If I multiply this so by this, that equal to minus twenty-one n here minus so right seven into seven equal to forty-nine. That equal to what happen here? Twenty one don't get cancel out. Forty fifty seven minus forty nine. Or that equal to how much? Forty nine fifty seven hundred one zero six one zero six. By 
9n plus 7. Right? Uh, this is uh, minus uh, 106. If I mod this there, that will be 106, 9n plus 7. Uh, 9n plus 21. 3 into 7 equal 21. Which is less than epsilon by hypothesis, by definition, right? From using this, I want to remove, I want to find an M, right? Which implies what happened by reciprocaling here, what you will get here 9N plus 21, 9N plus 21 by 106 is greater than 1 by epsilon is greater than 1 by epsilon after referring to this is which implies what happened here in 106 this side 9n n is greater than 106 by epsilon minus 21 so that equal to here what happened right n is greater than n is greater than 106 by epsilon minus 21 minus 21 by 1 by 9 you can take that here by 1 by 9 which is implies n is greater than 106 by 9 epsilon Twenty one by nine. So this is M. M is equal to integral part of uh, integral part of one zero six nothing but here we later fifty uh, three divided by three so one zero six by nine epsilon. 9 epsilon minus 7 by 3 which implies for every epsilon the regression belongs to this zero and plus such that mod of uh, this minus 7 by 3 equal to is less than epsilon therefore we have shown that this is equal to this like that we have to show okay. similarly I want to show that other problem also. Similarly, I want to show that other problem. So here I am taking that b n equal to this, lemma b n equal to this. I want to take count out 9, say sorry. n here, 7 minus 19 by n, 3 plus 7 by n, lemma apply limit 7 by 3 will get. Uh, let epsilon equal to b n equal to 7 n minus 19, 3 n plus 7, l equal to 7 by 3, same b n equal to n shall apply, apply minus 106 by 9 n plus 21. From this, I will get that uh, same m is equal to in the integral part of 1069 epsilon minus 21 by 9. For epsilon, the direction belongs to integral part of 1069 epsilon by 21 by 9, that you can take that 7 by 3 belongs to epsilon such that bn minus 7 by 3 is less than epsilon for all n is equal to m. Which implies lim bn equal to 7n minus 19 by 3n plus 7 is equal to 7 by 3. Again, same problem I am taking here, Cn is equal to 4n plus 3 by 7n minus 8, 5. Cn is equal to lemma of 4n plus 3 by 7n minus 5. Uh, that equal to limit of uh, here, I am taking that. Uh, here I am taking n, I count out 4 plus 3 by 7n. If I take n common here, 7 minus 5 by n, apply limit lemma 4 plus uh, lemma 3 by 0, that equal to 0, 
gear not limit there gear also not limit there there is 4 by 7 so 4 by 0 that means 7 by 3 equal to 4 by 7 limb of c n equal to i got here limb of 4 by 7 so that means uh, i want to determine the limit same as i am taking that less than greater than 0 c n equal to this and l equal to 4 by 7 considering m c n minus l C n nothing but 4 n plus 3 by 7 n minus 5, L nothing but 4 by 7, cross multiply and I simplify that, we will get 41 by 19, 49 9 by 35 minus 35. C n minus L is so equal to 41 by 49 n minus 35 is less than epsilon. Let f 41 by 49 minus L is less than epsilon. I respectfully then what we will get here 1 by 49 n minus 35 epsilon by uh, if I multiply here 4 by epsilon from this I will get 49 minus 35 greater than 41 epsilon 49 is greater than 41 by epsilon plus 35 which implies n is greater than n is greater than 1 by 49 41 by epsilon plus so 35 by only less 35 right so n is greater than 41 minus 49 epsilon plus 39 by 49 which plus m is the interval part of 49 by 49 epsilon plus 35 by 19 so this thing we have proved that m is equal to interval part of l take here for every epsilon greater than 0 there exist m belong to m is equal to 49 by 49 epsilon plus 35 by 49 m belong into z plus such that limit of uh, this thing uh, 49 plus 3 by 7n minus 5 is equal to 4 by 7. This is how we have to. So, D. D here, what he has given? D n equal to 2n plus 4 by 5n plus 2. Lim D n equal to lim of uh, 2n plus 4 by 5n plus 2. That equal to lim of 2 plus 4n by 5. Lim of 5 plus 2 by n. That equal to 2, 0, 5, 0. That equal to 2 by 5. Same, I applying same problem, let uh, epsilon is greater than 0, dn equal to, this value dn, uh, 2n plus 4 by 5n plus 2, l equal to 5, 5, consider them dn minus l, dn nothing but 2n plus 4 by 5n plus 2, that minus 2 by 5, if I cross multiply then what will be 10n plus 8, uh, sorry, 20, minus 10n here, minus 4, minus 10n, 100, sorry, 10n, 10n gets cancelled out, we will get here 20, minus 4, minus 16, here 16 by 25 by n, this is natural numbers, we will write here 16, 16, 25n plus 16, which less than epsilon, so from this, I will find the n, n is greater than, what we get here, 16 by epsilon plus 10, which is greater than epsilon, this is the value, is which is greater than epsilon, therefore, n equal to n is greater than what I mean, 25 comes this side, 16 by 25 epsilon plus 10 by 25, m is equal to what we write here, integral part of this value, 16 by 25 epsilon plus 10 by 25, so integral part of right, I want to write this only, so which implies, so for every epsilon greater than 0, there exists m belong to, m is equal to this, so belong to this, such that dn minus 2 pi pi is less than epsilon same as Sn equal to 1 by n sin n, lim 1 by n equal to 0, and Sn sin is bounded, lim 1 by 0, m is zero bounded, limit of 1 by n is also 0, by principles, by theorem solver. Let right, epsilon is 0, Sn equal to 1 by n, uh, 1 by n sin n, l equal to 0, consider Sn minus l, 1 by n sin n minus 0, 1 by n sin n, So 1 by n sin n, sin n nothing but 1 by n sin n minus l nothing but 0. So here 1 by 9 sin n, that equal to 1 by n mod sin n is less than equal to 1 by n. So this is less than already 1, we know less than 0, we know that. So which implies this is less than equal to therefore since so mod sin n is also less than equal to 1. So there exists to s n minus l is less than 1 by epsilon. So let 1 by n epsilon, 1 by n is less than epsilon, n is less than 1 by epsilon, m is the interval part of, m is equal to interval part of 1 by epsilon, 
for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists m equal to integral part of one by epsilon such that mod epsilon minus zero is less than epsilon for all n greater equal to m, which implies lim s n equal to lim one by n sin n equal to zero. Okay, this is so um, one problem. Result a n equal to n by n square. We define the limit of and prove the claims of two given sequences a limit of n by n square. But similarly, already can prove same thing. We have determined limit of uh, yes and proved our claims of the given sequence and limits over limit of n by n square plus one. Okay, so like that uh, we have shown. We can write here limit equal to this. Lim s n equal to lim a one by n equal to zero. Lim d n equal to two by five. Lim c n equal to four by seven. Lim b n equal to seven by three. Okay. Practical problem. Suppose uh, lim a n equal to a. Lim b n equal to b. Or uh, into or uh, into s n equal to a n cube uh, plus four a n by b n square plus one. The proof that limit is equal to a cube plus 4a by b square by b. Carefully by using limit theorem. If limit is equal to then limit b is equal to b. Limit is equal to a n cube 4n by. And taking this and is equal to this. Then to prove carefully, limit is equal to a cube plus 4a by b square plus 1. Principles of sequences, limit of sequences, limit is equal to t n equal to s plus t. Limit is equal to zero. T n is bounded. Then limit is t n equal to zero. Uh, lim s n equal s n t n equal s t lim s n by t n equal to l by t. Method let a n equal to a lim b n equal to b s n equal to what we know that a n cube plus four a n by b n square plus one. Lim s n equal to lim of a n cube plus four a n by b n square plus one that equal to lim of a n cube plus four a n by lim b n square plus one that equal to lim of a n cube plus lim of a four lim of four a n This is nothing but uh, this is S n by T n. This is uh, lim S n plus T S n plus T n equal to this. Lim of a n cube written as lim of a n into a n into a n. Lim of four a n written as lim of four into lim of a n. Why? Because already we know that lim S n to T n equal to lim S n plus lim T n. It is in the form only. So here a n cube written as a n a n a n. This written as uh, lim of a n into lim of b a n into lim of a n. Plus lim of four equal to four a n equal to a lim b n equal to lim b n into b n that equal to plus one. So this is a a a. So five so three dot a that is a cube four into a. So lim s n equal to b lim b n equal to b plus four right. So by using uh, uh, limit theorem we show that lim s n equal to a cube plus four a by b square plus one. We have proved that. If we limit n equal to n, limit n equal to then s n equal to this, then we have proved success carefully. Limit s n equal to a cube plus four a plus b square plus one. Show that the following sequences are not convergent. We want to show that the following sequences are not convergent. S n equal to n five by three, cos n five by three. Sorry, cos n five by three, cos n five by three minus one over n. Sin n five by three equals sin five by three. Sin two five by sin three five by three. So they are like this. Sin n five by three equals n five by three. That equals sin infinite by five. That equals three. So therefore, it is not convergent. Similarly, cos n five by three. That equals cos n five by three. Cos five by three. Cos five by two. That means cos n five by three. That equals cos infinite. That equals to infinite. Cos n five by three is also not convergent. If I take minus one all four and n into this is going like this. Lim of n equal minus one for f n equal to infinite. That equal to infinite into zero. Therefore, this also not converges. This and the other not converges, right? So, so these are bounded, but uh, not converges, right? Prove that carefully. Lim of n square plus one by n minus n equal to zero. Lim of n square plus n minus n equal to one by two. Lim of square root of four n cube. For square root of 4n square plus n minus 2n equal to 1 by 4. Lim of n square plus 1 by n equal to 0. Right? Uh, this I want to prove it. I am taking that uh, lim of n square plus 1 minus n. Okay. So this thing I have. I would like to say take that lim of 4n square n square plus 1 minus uh, n equal to 0. I want to show this. 
here I want to check that uh, lima up one one problem I will show n square plus one this thing I want lim up n square minus n minus n equal to zero so same problem n square plus one minus n okay so this this I want to show that by using lim theorem only right See here, I'm taking that. Oh, lima for this thing I'm taking n square minus n. I'm taking that equal to I want for that zero. If I quickly update that lima. Infinite, limb infinite, minus infinite. That is like this, integer form, right? So that's why what I'm doing here, I'm rationalizing this form. I am, I am rationalizing this way. So limit of oh, mm, here n square plus one minus n. So what I'm doing here? This by this multiply and divide uh, with space. So if I multiply those things, we will get same answer, right? This is so. Uh, so I'm rationalizing this. That means so uh, I have multiply and dividing by this. Next, what I'm do? I'm both. I'm multiplying both this. This right. This and this, I multiply, multiply this. What happen? A minus B into A plus B that equal to A square plus B square. A square nothing but but ten square plus one whole square nothing but ten square plus one. Any ten nothing but ten square, right? So this will happen. That equal to what will get here? Limit of one. Limit of one one square plus one. Let's say if I apply limit here, then what happen? One by infinite plus infinite that equal to zero. So we have shown this is right. Similarly, this kind of problems we already we can solve same method only by rationalizing this right. Here I am taking that. Oh, Yeah, rationalizing this. If I limit here, lima of this equal to same thing problem. Uh, that equal to infinity plus so lima of this thing. Next, what I have infinite infinity plus infinite that equal to zero. This now just now I explained this problem. Now I am taking other problem. Lima of square root of n square plus n minus n equal to zero. S n equal to n square plus n minus n. This I am like I am rationalizing this. N square plus n minus plus n, n square plus n. That equal to what happened here? N square plus n minus n square. N square here cancel out. Limit of s n equal to get n by n square plus n plus n. Now I, what I am doing here? Limit s n equal to lim n by n. I am take n common out both side from the. Uh, if I take n common out, oh, here we get uh, numerator only one. Here if I take n common out, then what happen? N square will get comes n comes outside. For that one plus one by n. One plus one by n. Plus one, so that will get one by square root of one by one plus n. That equal one by one plus one. That equal to one by two. Right? So this is the way you can take that. Here, if I take n common out, then what happens here? N plus one by n plus one. So one plus one by n, n plus one by n. So if I apply limit, then what will get here? That equal to one by two. Lim of n square plus n minus n. That equal to one by two. C. Lim of four n square plus n minus two n. Here s n equal to this. S n equal to I'm rationalizing this term. So you rationalizing multiply will get that. Oh, here four n square minus plus n minus four n square. Four n square cancel out. N by square root of four n square plus n plus two n. Here n four n square plus n. I'm what I'm coming n common out here. If I four n square plus n square plus n common out, 
lim of that equal to n by 4 n square plus n by 2 n if you take n common over to what will you get here 1 by lim of 2 here you can take n common out here 4 n square that equal to what here what will get here 4 plus 4 by n plus uh, 2 that equal 1 by 2 plus 2 1 by 2 the answer is 1 by 2 into 2 that equal to 1 by 4 only right uh, if you not get uh, you can understood you can take that here lemma 4 n square plus 1 you can take here if you not understood that I am taking again 4 n square plus n minus 2 n the problem I am taking that limit of uh, here I am taking that uh, So, uh, limit of 4 n square plus n minus 2 n that equal to 0 right now that equal to 1 by 4 I want to show that if I apply limit here limit infinite 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 0 that is the indeterminate form so, so I am able to find limit so here I am taking that uh, rationalizing this is first of all rationalizing this so lim of uh, 4 n square plus n 4 n square plus n minus 2 n that equal to what I am doing here uh, lim of uh, if I rationalize thing and multiply will get uh, numerator will get that oh, 4n square plus n minus 4n square by square root of 4n square square root of minus plus 2 n sorry in numerator what will get here that equal to n by limit will be same n by 4 n square plus n plus 2 n if I take n common out here 1 in numerator 1 you can take n common out here here 2 n will go to only 2 comes if I take n square common out then what happen here n comes out to that is 4 plus n by oh sorry 1 by n 4 plus 1 by n plus here 2 plus here 2 right so for apply limit uh, the result of this here 1 here square root 4 0 already we know the, we already proved that lim s n equal to s then lim root s n equal to s in last lecture that's why i'm writing here 1 by 4 plus 0 here plus 2 so oh, that's nothing but uh, this is 1 by root 4 root 4 nothing but 2 plus 2 that equal to 1 by 4 implies so uh, we shown that uh, lim of uh, n square plus uh, n mm, can write here also. Four n square plus n minus two n. That 
that equal to 1 by 4 right so this thing i want to show that this is the problems of uh, using limit theorems and algebra of sequence algebra of sequence right so thank you thank you for watching this uh, lecture thank you one and all